Collins with Coma Today. I'm out at the Emergency Operations Center of Coma EMA. I'm with Director Phyllis Little. Phyllis, we've got some weather coming in. Can you tell us about it? Uh, yes, we do. We have a potential for a serious weather situation this afternoon and into tonight. There's a possibility of severe thunderstorms, some tornadic activity, large hail, and gusty winds up to about 60 to 70 miles an hour. And that includes the entire county, correct? Yes, it does. It includes the entire county uh, and most of the Tennessee Valley. So we, don't, we can't really say what's going to happen, where, and when, but what are your thoughts for citizens? How should they get prepared without panicking? Well, now is the time, this morning is the time for them to review their severe weather plans, know what they're going to do if and when a tornado watch or a tornado warning is issued. Mm -hmm. Um, we need for them to look at their go kits that we've been encouraging folks to plan for and uh, have those ready to go. Um, check their batteries and their flashlights, their weather radios. Just in general, know what they're going to do if the weather situation does turn serious. And we've got uh, shelters throughout the county, correct? Yes, we do. We have multiple community shelters, community safe rooms around the county. Those are posted on our web page. They're also available on our Coleman EMA smartphone app. Uh, all people need to do is just look at those and know where to go. You know, and I was down in Hanson a little earlier, they've already turned on the strobe lights, starting to open up the tornado shelters. I assume that that's going to be a pattern throughout the county before the weather gets here. Yes. Um, usually the tornado shelters, the storm shelters are not opened until a tornado watch is issued, but many of our communities are already getting those ready and making sure that everything is available for folks when they need to come. Now, I know you've got a briefing on more facts and details on timelines, but what do you know so far? What can we expect as far as waves of storms, times? Can you speak to that? We're looking right now at three waves of storms. Uh, the first wave that we'll get lunchtime or early, early afternoon, mostly just thunderstorms, nothing really severe expected. The second wave later this afternoon could have some severe thunderstorms in it and some tornadic activity, and that will carry on through with a third wave that will go through the night. And so this could go on into daylight hours tomorrow morning? Yes, um, it could potentially go to mid-morning or later tomorrow morning with some thunderstorms moving through. Now, I know you're getting ready to get super busy. Talk to us briefly about the tornado warning sirens around the county. If those go off, what does that mean to people? Well, we have 42 sirens located around Coleman County, and those are called outdoor warning sirens. Those are to warn folks who are outside to go inside and turn on a radio, check their weather radio, or turn on a TV and find out what the weather situation is. That, that's, that's great to know, because I, I know a lot of people hear those sirens go off and they wonder, well, what should I do? You just, you just told us. Right, just go in and, and turn your radio and TV on, find and, out what's going on. And so the bottom line is, is be prepared now, don't wait till the last minute. Exactly. If you wait to go to your safe place, to your shelter that you've lined up for yourself until a tornado warning is issued, you've waited too late. You need to be prepared and keep up with the weather after watch is issued especially. Know where the storms are located and make your move ahead of the storms. That's great advice, Phyllis. Thanks for your time. I'll let you get back to uh, your briefing and do what you do. Thank you.